Well, boy, here's Michael with another hit song. Can't wait to hear this one. So, do you have a friend who's always sending you his or her original songs? Do you dread checking messages from this person for fear of being subject to another ruthless assault on your ears? How do you cope with these impositions into your YouTube shorts, Instagram, or TikTok time? Well, I'm Chuck Cassidy, and as usual, I'm here to help. I'm going to give you four ways to give the impression that you have actually listened to your friend's song in its entirety and or actually liked it. Or on the other hand, how you can get them to stop sending you their silly muses so you can get back to playing Candy Crush. Number one, respond with a quick message about the song's style and genre, but keep it short. Too much verbiage can reveal the fact that instead of listening to their song, you actually watched five TikTok videos of girls trying on bikinis. The benefit of this strategy is that you'll only need to listen to about 15 or 20 seconds of the song to discern its style. And if it's a rock song, try my go-to. Solid riffs, man! Number two. Wait about three weeks from the time they send you their new song before you respond in any way. The strategy has a couple of benefits. Number one. After receiving a lot of lukewarm response from their other friends and family, your response will come as a welcome oasis in a desert of disinterest in their silly muse. They may start to think of you as their only fan or their only friend, and this is a win. Now, when giving feedback in this case, don't focus on the song, because let's face it, you're not going to listen to it anyway. Rather, focus on the idea that this reasonable adult dedicates time to something other than his family, friends, children, or real job. Express how you wish you had the time and the talent to do the same. They'll forget what song you're even responding to. Putty in their hands. Number three, view the messages they send you with the links to their new songs, but don't respond in any way. Do this repeatedly until they finally get the hint that their original creations are just not welcome in your weekly entertainment regimen. With any luck, they'll stop contacting you altogether. Number four, create your own music and send it to them. Fight fire with fire. That's right, learn to play the guitar, the bass, learn to sing, take a poetry writing class and show how it's really done. It. And with any luck, they'll just finally quit. Mission accomplished. Now, you may need to quit your job and leave your family, but it'll be worth it in the end. I mean, who knows? You could become the next Chuck Cassidy. What the hell are you looking at? I wanted to learn a new yoga. But if you don't do yoga, 